I um, grew up in Mississippi. Um, that's where the southern accent comes from. Um, and um, my parents were both educators and grew up in a, uh, a home of teachers and all my family and everybody around me. When I was in high school, uh, my senior year, I was um, Clinton, that's my hometown, Clinton's Junior Miss. And one of the questions the judges asked me is, what do you want to be when you grow up? And I said, President of the United States. How bold. I finished college and I went to Washington, D.C. and worked on Capitol Hill. But I didn't really think about that um, serving in elected office. I was supportive of my husband, who was interested in that and did serve in elected office. And my husband is the one. Uh, in 1998, when there was the, po the opportunity to run for the uh, state representative for District 60, he said, you should run. And I said, no. And he said, you should run. And there were a variety of reasons. But he's the one that encouraged me and said, you need to go for it. Recently, I uh, was parking downtown by the Methodist Church, by the, the little playground area for the Parents' Day Out program. And there were these little two-year-olds, and they were out playing and having a good time. And then all of a sudden, a fire engine started racing up the street. They all ran to the, the chain link fence. They grabbed hold. They started jumping up and down, just screaming with excitement. And I was watching them and giggling with them, and it was so fun. And then I thought, that's the way I feel about being a legislator. I get excited about it. I love it. It's a little scary at times, but it, it, it just jazzes me because I get to make a difference in people's lives um, in, a, in a very definitive way uh, that I can see what I've done, like I do as a nurse. Um, but I feel like I'm one of those little kids hanging on the chain link fence, go, jumping up and down, because I'm so excited about what I do. When I work as a legislator, especially when I'm working on policy, I'm affecting thousands, if not millions, of people's lives. That's really exciting. As I thought about each of the, the women that were selected, I think we would agree that we are just really a, a snapshot of, of women in Bloomington and Monroe County who are doing similar things that we do, but they just don't get the same recognition. Um, and, but, but what we're doing is we're all working together in different ways to make a difference for the citizens of not just Bloomington and Monroe County, but our whole region. I kind of try to live by the philosophy, to whom much is given, much is required. I've been given a lot um, through people who've loved me and supported me and encouraged me. And um, so I know that I owe a lot back. And if receiving this award helps me to re-energize um, and to recognize how blessed I am and to be able to continue to share that, I'm very grateful.